this is uh, the table of contents only yeah. i have prepared the topics and the subtopics under those and uh, this is all i feel uh, is required for a data engineer so for python the basics of python so we'll have first an introduction uh, which covers like why you should learn python and what are the scope and what are the benefits of using python comparison uh, comparing to other uh, programming languages then the first python program your hello world program then uh, the printing in python so there are different types of printing in python so we can go through that then the strings escape the characters variables and types then the data types numeric data types operators expressions so different uh, <clears throat> numerical expressions and uh, what is the operator precedence uh, for evaluating those expressions then we have string data types indexing in string slicing in string then string operator string formatting and the f strings so this is a very basic uh, thing in python everyone should know so we can start with this and then we can go to the program flow control so which includes the introduction to blocks and statements then we'll have if else elif statements Uh, we can see conditional operators then uh, using and or and in conditions then the boolean expressions um, for loop nested for loop continue and break uh, conditions then we have while loop then we can uh, see an application of the loop using binary uh, uh, that is binary search then uh, we have for else and uh, while else so this is one of the concept in uh, python loop now we can see that so once uh, we have the basics and the flow control uh, we can go ahead with the data structures of uh, python so starting with uh, list and tuples so what are uh, uh, we'll have a basic introduction to sequences what are the sequences in python then what are immutable and mutable objects in python then uh, the list then the common sequence operations what are the common operations that we can perform on this type of uh, data structures <clears throat> then uh, operations on mutable sequences then how can we append anything to a list how can we iterate over a list how can we remove something from a list then sorting a list nested lists and uh, join and split methods in the list then we have tuples uh, we have almost all the uh, almost same uh, methods in tuples as in lists then uh, what is unpacking uh, in tuple uh, in tuples mean then uh, we have nested tuples so once we have the basic data structure information we can go to functions where we will have a basic introduction of function and uh, why is it needed then the program flow uh, when invoking a function whenever we use a function how the program uh, flow works then we can have a, uh, the para, what are the parameters and arguments in a function then some examples of functions then the functions calling functions and uh, then what are the return values in functions and uh, what is the scope of functions within a program once we have that we can go to some uh, advanced data structures that are dictionaries and sets in python which are very powerful and uh, really important so we can have an introduction of that and then we can start with dictionary and how we iterate over a dictionary how we do some operations in the dictionary and what are different dict methods then we can go to sets and uh, see the set operations and then the union intersection and difference in sets and uh, then we can uh, go through the oops concept in python so oops concept is basically same as uh, any other oops language 
So uh, we can start with the introduction, uh, classes, instances, constructors, what is the self uh, keyword, then uh, what are class attributes, methods, getters and setters in a class, what is inheritance, what is subclasses and overloading, then how do we call the super methods, then uh, how do we override any method, what is polymorphism. And after that, uh, uh, one of the very efficient features of Python is generators and list comprehension. Uh, we can see that. Yeah, that's what I feel should be enough. Uh, 